this will determine uh, to some extent the uh, actual matchup because uh, I think because to Kamal took it right? with Gengar, uh, Dale, Dale took it with Garchomp. Let's see so, which character reigns supreme. Truly. Why is this like? Why is this just our stream right now? Is Gengar and Garchomp? All right. We're why do so many people play this Ooh, cross up. Okay. Seeing good use of counters. Okay. All right. Get I'm in the dig. So. I should go for the and overhead. And get in the stone sloop. But it's a grab. There's just psych. Nope. Just check Desta. Getting in, the, getting in the field phase here. But almost getting grabbed there. Good nice tech turn. on the grab. A little bit of and unknown you, you situation. You could tell that's not what he exactly what he wanted. Yeah, because there, there was a pause there. Yeah, he, there was a little bit of a pause and uh, good jump into the release probably. X. Very good option. Or dig into dig jump into yep. the X. Nice eight X. You do an astonishing. Nice timing there. This is a character you can do. Spud. And that's you can do that. That is that's as optimal as it's gonna get with the phase shift points right now. Or Frogadier's pocket pocket sand combo. Pocket yep. mud, I guess. Pocket, that's it. Pocket, uh, mud. pocket it's just pocket but sand. But it wasn't enough. Uh, Roxo's cool. looking low on health. Yeah. Oh! Excellent uh, dash cancel into the air to air. Good swim with air. I think that's oh grabs the extra synergy. Uh, oh. Oh. It's not gonna be enough damage in time. Yeah, Rasa he, just he, he says, like, nah. nah, it's not gonna work out. All right, Frogadier is gonna go through that charge. Shadow Ball finds the opening between all of those hitboxes, and Roxo throws some pocket sand in it. Nice grab there. Why Gengar? Going right back into field phase. Astonish. Grab. Ooh. A little bit of jab. I don't know how that would hurt, but <laughs> there it is. It's a spike. That's what. Yeah. That's what hurts. Him. But he's hitting it with a bullet of the spike. Oh, All right. It's a jab. Oh. All right. Some good footsies here. Winning the air to Spud. Winning the air to air. A little too high on that swim loop, though. Unfortunately, wasn't able to capitalize off of it. Frogadier. Back out. Oh. Okay, okay. And the safety good frog trade, comes good in. Good trade for uh, both players, really. Yeah, it's the same. The safety frog always wins, though. <laughs> it's true. Safety frog. Oh, excellent. Uh, Ooh. forward Y. Yep, it was. Uh, it's a good call. That's amazing. Spud getting the jump hat. Sending us into Mega Gengar. Mega Gengar. Spud's, Spud at his scariest, actually. Oh! oh the air to he, air. Also, he also got the that double buff. the rock, so. He also got the double buff from here. Going into the going into burst. See what Just, we do. Oh, I'm a okay. punish your burst. That confirmed. is uh, burst confirmed. Punish. Smart technical yeah. play from Spud. Yep, Spud did an amazing job there. Punishing a burst confirm burst mode start. That's like, yeah. Why Fox does that exist? The shield there. Well, uh. It, uh, it it gives us some good depth in the game. It is, oh yeah, it's it very is good um, a more technical game game than I think a lot of people give it credit for. <laughs> Alright, so All we're getting right, some we're changes getting from Roxo. Alright, I think it's some support changes. Likely. Yeah. In theory, the chat knows more than us because one of them was paying attention. Yep, we get this. this young Snivy Lapras combo. Hey, it is Snivy. Ooh, man. Oh, yeah. Alright. Nice dodge there. That was kind of the Dragon Claw. Try, thinks he's gonna go for the grab, I think. I think he was not trying to see if he was a grab, unfortunately. That's a little you'd rather take the grab than anything else right now at this point. So both nice. had about an equal amount of uh, big hit combos. Oh yeah. But Spud's definitely winning on the meter. And uh. Nope, tries to counter, counter Pierce. See that synergy? What so movement is just a pass right now? I'm loving it. Swim right. loops. Full optimal? Yep. Excellent. About, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Pocket sand. Changing the field. Changing the field. Cool. I think this match is really pocket sand versus counter. <laughs> pocket sand versus counter. Yeah, with, with, uh, pocket the, sand and jam. Pocket the, sand and field. With the perpetual the fear field. of uh, grass. Oh, yeah. And of course, of course, it's 
Ooh, oh, he dodges gets, the stone edge. through the stone edge. That was a good stone edge from him. So. I do like how Spud was expecting him to do something there. Roxo actually did do something very small at that counter, and then stopped, you know, and he was like, oh, this might seem he might go back. Roxo getting huge damage off of a permeate punish. Yep. But Spud keeping it in. Spud finally getting it in. Spud, I don't know why. Let me go for him. Dodge through the stone edge again. Still has burst. Goes for Mega Gengar. This is gonna hurt. Oh, gets hit, and that causes the board with no Snivy keeping us out. Forward X. Ooh, that was bad. That is. That was 4 X. Smaller one. Ooh. Okay. Yep. Throwing stuff out. Laser. Yeah! Pocket sand. Not killing actually. Oh, he is way in the air. There's gonna be a punish. Oh, oh didn't get it. Whoops. And it's we the get grab. that grab. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Wow, that is such good. I damage. think uh we're Did almost he just... certain to get uh, burst mode here. Oh, wait, I forgot a little bit of drain. I didn't know you could do the shadow ball, the shadow ball setup and feel. Why didn't I think you could do that? I know you could do the shadow ball. Yep, yeah, I expected that. Alright, Marks of the Savage taking game two. Yeah. Getting ready for game three. Just a little poke there. Is... That was enough to end Spud's reign of terror. Oh, yeah. For uh, that round. That we're round. back in it again. Yep. Okay. Game three, Roxo versus Spud. I'm glad I'm commentating this. Honestly, yeah. this is such a cool match. And, like this is such a cool like matchup. These two like I don't know. I think these two fight a lot on on friendlies. I think I'm not exactly 100 sure. All right, good. Uh, jump X. Gengar creating three pizza cutter. Well, oh, he didn't go for the second this time. He just went for Optimus. Nice job there by Gengar. Roxo sitting about a half health this round. Already. A lot. Gengar homing. Getting that frame just right so that it's uh, right in the opening. Ooh. If he's able that. to dodge the stone edge here, take a little bit of tip from that. If he would have held that a little longer, Gengar's shield would have been almost destroyed. Alright, Roxo looking a little too greedy with the stone edge. I don't think he's gotten a really good hit off of it. It's been it's been lots of neutrals for I don't yeah, I don't think he's gotten That's like a follow up off of it yet. A nice sandstorm. Okay, but we are not getting that grab. That was nice a one. risky grab. Very We're sitting at just a little bit of health. I don't blame but, him for trying to go for it though. It's a 50-50. But yeah, 50, if, so. you want, if you want it, uh, put it all on the line. That's, yep. that's the way to do it. Astonish, moving away. All right, so the best thing you'd want to do though is to try and. Whoa, really sexy. The best thing to do is just try and. I try and always challenge Astonish combo. Try and Astonish combo by the shield. Like, try and, like, counter and then see, like, do a CADC out of it, uh, out of the astonish, and then try and grab him. That's helped me a lot. Alright. Calls the jump, gets another quick astonish. Uh, single area. Oh, that's. Uh, that stone edge activation oh, left. Oh, I know. Rocks a little bit. A little bit of. Okay. He's trying to counter so he can get his burst as quickly as possible right now. That's what he's hoping for at this point. Maybe he can also do a very slow charge. Yeah. Ooh, that is gonna be some good damage. First on deck. Spud. Spud just in such a good situation right now. Roxo kind of feeling Ooh, the hit. Oh, the earthquake and the nice face earthquake. shift. Oh, oh it does not get the counter. He does have his burst. It's what's, I think it's can save him. Spud using his burst. Mega Gengar is uh, gonna be a big wall. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a huge wall that Drops is gonna have to go. He does go over Dick. He does go over the Shadow Ball. That's gonna oh, get some good damage. That's gonna confirm in the burst. That's gonna almost even it up. I don't think so. That's right. definitely gonna put it in range. Probably around 20. Oh, 1, one H HP. One exact. HP exactly. Counter. Oh, Roxo getting the grab. Very good last like last choice there by Roxo. Alright, going into final round here. Get the Dragon Claw for the face shift. Good cross up Roxo. Uh, he this is not a, fi a final round that Spud was ex expecting no. or hoping for. No. We kinda threw him off. Alright. Shield. Alright. So we see no 
jump for us this time, but he instead gets a uh, colony punish. Nice AY uh, punish there earlier. Snipe gonna do some work. Keeps, that, keeps him in the around. corner. Yep. Fox is gonna back away right now. Might not be the best of ideas. Overhang in the floor. And that's gonna claim it. Very good pressure from Roxo at the end there. It's good adaptability to figure out Spud's pattern. Uh, that focus, focus band was not quite enough for Spud nope. there. What a close game there by those yeah, two. Yeah, very, very good show. Wow.